Today I'm going to replace the 155 degree fisheye lens in this Yi 4K action camera with a 72 degree non-distortion lens. The fisheye lens is good if you're doing a lot of outdoor things that have a far distance and you want to get the entire area. But most of my work is uh, at close up ranges and I really don't like the distortion. Pulling this apart will obviously void the warranty, so do this at your own risk. The first thing we'll do is remove the battery so we don't accidentally turn this on while dismantling the camera. You can use some channel locks or vice grips to pull this apart, so rolling up a piece of paper will act as a nice protector between the camera pieces and the pliers. You can take a knife or a sharp screwdriver and put it underneath this dust protector cover, but uh, I chose the brute force method and just put a piece of paper in here to protect it a little bit and yanked it around a little bit to get it loosened up. And then once it comes off a little bit, I just peeled it off with my fingernails and it came right off. The factory lens does have a few pieces of glue on it that they use to hold the focus in place. Uh, some people will take the cover off, like I'm showing here, and uh, scrape off the glue. Um, I actually took the cover off and then uh, once I had it off I changed my mind and took my chances and just uh, spun the lens around and the glue actually popped off. So it's sort of your option if you want to dig into it, but it does uh, take some effort with a good knife and some strong fingernails to uh, pull this cover off. I wasn't planning on saving this lens so I just applied my pliers directly to it but I probably should have used the paper protector. The lens just uh, cranks right around and uh, comes right out. Once you loosen it up a little bit you can unscrew it from the camera just with your fingers. Once the lens comes out, you can see where the glue was. And of course, you don't want any dust or debris in the area, so make sure you're working in a clean area. As a comparison, here's the new lens on the left and the old fisheye lens on the right. The new one is uh, quite a bit smaller in diameter. The new lens just screws right in, nice and easy. And once the lens was in most of the way, I put the battery back in and then tested out the focus. It will need some adjustment to get it in the right spot. If you're going to be using this mostly for longer distance shots, you should focus on some trees or something instead of a close-up object. Once you're happy with the focus, if you took the cover off, you can snap that back on. You will note that when, once you put the dust protector on, that there will be a gap between the lens and the protector. This particular lens didn't have a, a new one that came with it. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. I didn't do too bad with the damage on it. I did go a little above and beyond on this project and 3D printed a focus ring that wedges onto the lens. This allows me to get some really close up details on some of my subjects. Here's some before and after footage so you can compare the difference between the two lenses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to give us a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.